Aside from the actual competition on the ice, I think this stretch of the year is my favorite. It's a huge opportunity for your organization, especially when you have a lot of picks like we do this year, two in, in the top 45 and 11 overall. That's a huge opportunity for us to really add to our development system. Our scouting staff, they all do so much work and they right away had to go from a type of experience and, and life where it's managing the people's schedules, where they're flying to, where they're going to, all that halts. And you're forcing people to really change the way that they work, completely change the way that they work at the drop of a hat. Thanks for coming on here, everyone. Keep your phones near you for any questions. A lot of hard work went into it, so we're ready to get rolling. They've been outstanding in accepting new and different ways to do their job. And I've seen tremendous growth in a lot of our scouts, the leadership of the group for sure, but even the area people and the way that they operate and how they've tried new things in their player evaluations and you know, the way that they've interacted with other members of the staff. I think we feel very prepared for the draft, especially with the fact that we have 11 picks. Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 NHL Draft. Hey, Mitch. Hey, how are you? I think it's important for the players to be here tonight. I think just because it's a different circumstance for a lot of young players who are experiencing a very important day in their careers. I think we just want to be supportive of the player that we pick and be around. It just goes back to something that um, we did when, when I was in, in the Sioux as well. I just think that a player coming into the organization is going to spend most of their time with those players. So when we're adding people to the organization, I, I think you know they should be welcomed by the people with whom they're going to spend the most time. Players are the ones that really drive the organization in the end, and I just think it's nice for them to be the ones welcoming new players in. It's a cool feeling. Um, I mean, you only get to hear it once in your career, and I think that, I mean, the build-up to it is extreme. Uh, it gets talked about for months in your household with your parents, when you're around your friends, and, you know, in the media and stuff, people always speculate. And I think there's a big part of you that just wants it to end and you just want to know where you're going to be and you want to stop the, the speculation. But the overall feeling is you, like you're just very excited and all players have teams that they want to go to and it works differently for everyone, I guess. So when I look back at it, I just remember being very nervous and then just the ultimate relief and the ultimate uh, experience of, of joy with my family afterwards. I was pretty fortunate. I mean, our draft was in Florida, so... Um... We went down there for a week or so just before even the draft and visited Orlando and kind of did the whole thing up to Florida and then to the draft. And by the time the draft came, we probably had about 70, 80 people all in the crowd. I think the main important thing is, you know, still when you drafted, the people sitting beside you were always the ones that uh, mean the most too, which were, you know, my brother, my dad, and my mom that I uh, got to share that moment with. You know, it's going to be different for a lot of these kids, but at the same time, I think you, uh, you know, you're still going to really enjoy it with the people you love around you. And we know from our own research already, and we know from this information that there'll probably be a huge market at 15. Either we're going to pick somebody we really like, or uh, we're going to pick somebody we really like, or we're going to get a ton from somebody else. This is a big day for us too. I mean, there's a lot of players that are, you know, experiencing a lot today, and there's, you know, great opportunity here to be had. But I think as a team, there's a chance for our team to improve too. And I think for me and Mitch to be here, we just want to be a part of it. And when the ask came through, it was an easy yes just to be here and be supportive of the organization. I don't know what to do with my hands. With the 15th overall selection in this year's 2020 NHL draft, we are proud. To, Toronto Maple Leafs are proud to select from UFA of the KHL, Rodion Amaroff. Самый положительный эмоция это большая организация, большой клуб. We had uh, Rodin Amaroff, first round pick at 15. He's very skilled, fast, plays in the KHL right now, is doing well as I think five points and 10 games in, in a low scoring league. We, we've tracked him since his underage year. I believe he was the uh, leading goal scorer in the under 18 World Championships as an underage with Jack Hughes in that class. That's kind of where we really noticed him, at least the North American scouts, and, and have watched him for a couple years. The way that our team is constructed, by the time he's kind of entering into his prime, it's five years from now, and the guys who are part of our core will all be uh, nearing 30. We certainly envision him because of his, uh, his ability on and off the puck to be able to play up with our top players, with his speed, with his playmaking ability and his ability to drive possession and, and uh, the puck in transition. So that's our expectation when, when we're picking somebody there is try to find someone that can play at the top of our lineup. 
It's a very exciting time. It's extremely challenging because you're going up against 30 other teams that are trying to all make their teams better and uh, that all have great managers running their uh, organizations as well. So it's a great test of the organization. It seems every year at the draft, everyone says this is a deep draft, but I would say that this year is certainly carries more of that narrative than others. For better, for worse, the, the economics and the way that they've changed in the last number of months are going to put a major focus on development and having younger players that, that have tremendous talent try to get to the league as soon as possible. Toronto Maple Leafs proud to select from a sot of the Finnish Elite League, Ronnie Hervonen. Hey Ronnie, how you doing? Good, congratulations. Welcome to the Leafs. How'd you play today? Pretty good, I think. I played my best video game so far. Well, that's a good sign then. We'll look forward to meeting you soon in person. You can't describe the feeling. It was uh, so amazing and and unreal. From Carpat of the Finnish Elite League, Toppy Niamello. I try to be modern, good, moving to a defense man. And of course, I believe that I can play in the NHL someday. From Kazan, Russia, goaltender Archer Arktimov. Congratulations, enjoy the night, thank you. Number 122, the Toronto Maple Leafs and William Villeneuve. Are you able to reach or is he sleeping, Dmitry Ovchinnikov? Next selection in the fifth round, the Toronto Maple Leafs have selected Dmitry Ovchinnikov. He's got a mile, mile on his face. He went full pistol. Number Lots mentioned the Leafs. VT Miet Axel Rindell. He's the pick. One got a pick here. Here for you. You got it. Thank you very much. The Toronto Maple Leafs have selected Joe Miller from Blake High School in Minnesota. Joe! Good, are you watching that? Awesome, well congratulations and welcome to the Maple Leafs. We're thrilled to have you. Uh, my name pop up on the TV. Super Look forward to getting to know you better here for the next, uh, next couple of days. Bye. He's excited. There might be some tears in that one there. We were actually going over a book and uh, my phone, I got a text and then I kept getting one too and I was like, what is this? From Algonquin, Wyatt Shingothi. Got one more? We do have another trade to announce. The Boston Bruins have traded pick number 213 in the 2020 draft to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for a seventh round pick in the 2021 draft. Yeah, pick is in. Hey, what's your name? Ryan Twerberg. You're watching the draft? We're just about to select you here with our next pick. So congratulations and welcome to the Maple Leafs, bud. It's a huge day for all these young players, and I think that it's hard to understand maybe when you haven't experienced it, but um, it really is, you know, day one of your of your NHL career. It's where you are going to go establish yourself as a player in the NHL and where you're going to move to and where you're going to experience an important part of your life. It's cool that it's not in your control and, you know, after the pick gets made and you know where you're going, you just get ultra focused and you, you try to do your best to, to play well for that organization and that team. And I mean, that's when it, uh, it really starts.